Welcome back to SourceFed Nerd, I'm Whitney Moore. And I'm Philip. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, so a few months ago we covered the possibility of Netflix finally answering our travel-related prayers and offering downloadable content for our smartphones and little tablet devices. And now, announced today, it's finally happening! We can download Netflix content for offline viewing. This is huge! Game-changing! Yelling-worthy! Yeah! But like I said, we made a video about this possibility before. And as we were re-watching that video and sifting through the comments, we found some comments that we wanted to highlight and some people we gotta hold accountable. Our buddy Connor Sturgis says he refuses to get Netflix until this happens. Well, Sturgy, it happened. You've got 24 hours. Get on that. Put your credit card info in the comments if you need help doing it. Eric Sapolo said, The day Netflix lets me watch offline is the day you won't see me commenting on SourceFed videos. 53 likes. That's 53 people plus us that you now owe it to by your own promise to not leave a comment below. Everyone down there, keep an eye out for Sapolo. If he comments, sound the alarms. This is a no Sapolo comment zone. And finally, Team Eclipse Sherman asked, how do you watch Netflix offline? And then he did this face. All right, this is a solid question actually worth answering. Okay, so here's your how-to guide for how to survive your family's slow-ass internet when you visit them for the holidays. Or survive that 10-hour plane ride to Europe. Have fun, Sam. Or in other words, how to pack your phone with offline viewable Netflix content. First off, you gotta have the most recent version of the Netflix app. Yeah, you need that, and also, duh, you need a Netflix account, but who are you if you don't have a Netflix account? Some kind of goddamn robot? Or maybe you use Cody instead of use Cody? All right, I mean, it's kind of cool if you use Cody. But back to normal human beings who use Netflix. Here's a tip, your resolution queen like me, you have to actually force the app to download the HD versions by going to the app settings, then under downloads and video quality, selecting higher. Though it uses up more space, but I mean, you gotta have that HQ. Or not, because it's a tiny little baby device. True. Thing. Okay, but in general, here it goes. You launch that newly updated Netflix app and make your way to your program of choice. Like, I'm about to binge on The Crown real hard, so let's just say it's that. Uh, sure, but no, because I actually want to download The Lion <laughs> in your living room because it looks amazing and adorable and I love cats. Sure, fine. So what you're looking for either next to episode title or the movie title is that little download arrow symbol. See that? And if you don't see it, you're screwed. It's not available for download. Or you forgot to make sure the app is definitely updated. Get on that. And if you would rather just know what good stuff you can download, tap the menu button on the upper left. There's a new category called available for download and you are good to offline view any of that stuff. Here are some of our faves that are on there said really, really fast. Starting with movies. Jaws, The Babadook, Netcrawler, What Hot American Summer, Boyhood, Adventureland, Swingers, Trainspotting, Hot Fuzz, and Pulp Fiction. And now TV shows, Freaks and Geeks, Parks and Rec, 30 Rock, and The Office. Sam downloaded all of season two, the best season, in just a few minutes. Also, a bunch of the CW shows like Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, and then the really good stuff Netflix makes, like Stranger Things. Orange is the New Black. House of Cards. Bojack Horseman. Narcos. With the Bob and David. Making a Murderer and the Amanda Knox stuff. And no Marvel shows. What? Yeah, for some reason, none of Daredevil or J.J. Jones or Mr. Lucas Cage, they're not on there. Damn it! Except I binged all of them already, so ha. Ha! All right, now some follow-up questions and points. There's no increased cost for downloading this stuff, but you do have to keep the setting on Wi-Fi only down if you don't want to incur data costs. Also, there might be some bugs, like this one guy had a crash and when he restarted it, he said it used up his yearly download limit, so that sucks. If that happens, you're just gonna have to jump on that Netflix support. New features always suck at first. Mm -hmm. And finally, what's the word on how much space they take up, Philip? Well, through our unscientific test, we found when we stole Sam's phone, there was a bunch of weird stuff on there. Mm -hmm. But also, we found that The Office Season 2, which is 22 episodes that are 22 minutes long, added up to a little over two gigs of space. So on average, each episode's under under 100 megabytes and a little bit more than four megabytes per minute. But that was in the normal resolution. Higher res is probably more space, but again, it's your teeny little phone. Maybe normal res is okay. Blasphemy. Yeah, I get that word a lot. Well, that's because you hung your new FHP poster in a church and it made everyone nervous. Yep, sure did. Seriously, Whitney's new poster is amazing. It's called Disco Wit and you can get a signed one. I'm inking them myself. Gross. <laughs> uh, Pre-orders available now until December 5th. Also, this poster is all about good vibes, so we're donating half of all the proceeds to the the American Civil Liberties Union. You know, they're the ones that like protect our rights and fight injustice and like little stuff like that. Yeah, and they also help keep groovy programs like Planned Parenthood alive and kicking. Speaking of healthy sex programs, we're also bringing back the Sam Basher Tub Time with Sam poster. <laughs> also, Breeze Polaroid and Maybe She's Born With It, Maybe Fuck Off posters. These sexy damn posters are so all awesome. in limited availability, so get your order in today. FHPmerch.com slash signed by FHP. All right, so now how about you let us know down in the comments what you're gonna be downloading from Netflix for holiday survival. Like this video if you like Netflix. And subscribe if you want to see how this drama with Eric Sapolo is going to play out. Or for more nerd news. Yeah, I'm Whitney. I'm Phil. Tweet at us. It's how we feel love. Confidence is attractive. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.
Toit. Confectioner's Glaze. Grigio. Midnight Sun. Back Three School. Kiki's Delight. Hamburg. Coin. Oh, you're fucked! Dracarys! Explosive! Cox! 